and I pray you're having a beautiful day. Today I have a very interesting video for you. It's definitely going to be edifying for the body of Christ. For the demons and those who were manifesting yesterday, it's probably not going to be a pleasant experience because yesterday I made a video about the Burning Man event and how it was flooded. And there was many, many ignorant people who were literally using it as an opportunity to falsely accuse the Most High Yah. And why do they do that? Well, because they don't have the Holy Spirit. So when they read the Bible, they don't comprehend it. And their wicked heart that has become hardened tries to accuse the Most High Yah and hate the truth because they are lovers of their own pleasures and own desires over the truth. So today we're going to be going through some of those comments. There were many demons manifesting, but I'm going to show you some of those comments and then I'm going to debunk their claim because they was all claiming the same thing in their ignorance. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. So the first comment was from this person here, Trollinda, who is obviously a troll, but we know that mockers and scoffers are of Satan. And I want to make it very clear. I do not hate these people who are ignorant and foolish. I actually am showing them this so they can learn and they will have no excuse before the Most High on Judgment Day. Because something I have noticed that is very consistent in the trolls, they are narcissistic. They have narcissistic tendencies and they think that they are smarter than they are. They are actually very low IQ but they like to present themselves as somebody who has knowledge and it's quite sad. So I've decided to start addressing these people and exposing them and debunking them on videos so that everybody can see that these online trolls are nothing but a joke and they like to hide behind their troll online names and their profile pictures. But once in a while, you come across one who slips up, which you're gonna see in a second. But let's continue on with the video. So they claimed here that it took God 36 years to figure out what was going on and to go back on his promise never to flood the earth again. I'm going to show you the Bible passage that they are misinterpreting soon. And then there was this lady, and this is where it gets a little interesting, because this lady here says, God promised never to destroy the world by flood again. So by posting something like this, you're actually mocking God yourself. Now, not only is that such an ignorant comment, which we're going to prove in a minute, but let's check what this lady actually practices herself. Who are you, Paula Bowden? Hi, my name is Paula Bowden. I'm a psychic and a quantum Wait, 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 you're a what? I'm a psychic and a quantum healer. <laughs> I'm a psychic and a quantum healer. <laughs> I'm a psychic and a quantum healer. I'm a psychic and a quantum healer. I'm a psychic and a quantum healer. So the next time you online trolls, and not even trolls alone, but anybody thinks about mocking the Most High Yahweh, be aware that we also can strike back. And when the mockery comes your way, it will be mockery in truth, not mockery in ignorance. Now let's continue on with the video and debunk your satanic claims. Oh, and before we continue, family, I want to point this out because I know there are many lukewarm and also those who will be looking for another opportunity to attack by saying, oh, but aren't you a Christian? Aren't Christians supposed to not mock? Isn't it satanic to mock? Well, if you want to claim that, then you're once again making a claim in ignorance because in 1 Kings 18.27, it says, and so it was at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, cry aloud for he is a God. Either he is meditating or he is busy or he is on a journey. Or perhaps he is sleeping and must be awakened. So then we find out after that, what did those do who he was mocking? So they cried aloud and cut themselves, as was their custom with knives and lances, until the blood gushed out of them. And when midday was passed, they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. But there was no voice. No one answered. No one paid attention. So clearly, we as the body of Christ can laugh at the wickedness when it fails, can laugh at the wickedness when it falls. Because even though we pray for those who persecute us and we bless those who curse us, it doesn't mean that we cannot laugh at Satan when he falls continually. We certainly can. In fact, take a look at what the creator himself does in Psalm 37, 12 to 13. The wicked plots against the just and gnashes at him with his teeth. Yahweh laughs at him laughs at him for he sees that his day is coming so family know that you are well within your rights to enjoy this life to enjoy 
the abundance that Yahweh has granted you, the blessings, the peace, the joy, and you are allowed to laugh at the wicked and even mock Satan, for he is a failure and his children walk in his ways. We have victory in all circumstances. Hallelujah. Now the verse that these two uneducated people took out of context and tried to use to mock the Most High Yah actually has backfired on them because they completely misinterpreted the verse and misunderstood it. So let's clear this up and expose it from the beginning. In Genesis 6, 17 to 18, it states, And behold, I myself am bringing floodwaters on the earth to destroy from under heaven all flesh in which is the breath of life. Everything that is on the earth shall die, but I will establish my covenant with you and you shall go into the ark you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. So clearly, we see here what Yahweh is saying that he is going to do. And he also establishes a covenant with Noah, and with his sons, and with his wife, and with his sons' wives. So all flesh in which is the breath of life will be flooded, will be destroyed, okay? But not Noah, and not his sons, and not his wife, and not his sons' wives, okay? That is very important that you grasp that. And this verse here is the verse that Satan and his children are trying to use to accuse the Most High Yahweh. Take a look at what it says in Genesis 9, 12 to 17. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I set my rainbow in the cloud and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. It shall be when I bring a cloud over the earth that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. The waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. The rainbow shall be in the cloud and I will look on it to remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. And God said to Noah, this is the sign of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. So understand family, Yahweh is not saying that he cannot bring floods on the earth. He is saying very clearly that he will never use a flood to destroy all flesh in the way that he did in Genesis, where he literally got Noah and his family onto the ark along with the animals that were instructed, and then he destroyed the rest. That is the promise of Yahweh. Not that he cannot bring localized floods because we continually witness localized floods continually around the world. So understand, the people who do not understand the scripture and the covenants that are being made and the promises that are made are those without the Holy Spirit or people who walk in pride and have been sealed but in their ignorance they are trying to exalt themselves into a position that they do not have. And I do not make false accusations. The reason why I stated that these people are very low IQ is because they truly are. They are very deceived and they are deceived by their own lusts, by their own pleasures and giving in to Satan's whispers. Now look at what it says in her comment. Literally, the IQ is revealed right here. It says, God promised never to destroy the world by flood again. So are you claiming that because Yah flooded the Burning Man festival that he destroyed the world? You see family, the ignorance is absolutely unbelievable. Even in their own statements, they debunk themselves. So stay away from these so-called psychics and these so-called mediums, because even in the word it states, give no regard to mediums and familiar spirits. Do not seek after them to be defiled by them. I am Yahweh your Elohim, or in the English translations, the Lord your God. I need to clarify this every time because sometimes people are watching for the first time. The reason I say Yahweh instead of Lord is because in the English translations, they have replaced the name of the living Elohim, the living God, with the title Lord. And there are various reasons for this. It is because when they were translating, they were translating from different manuscripts and they were replacing the name, the holy name of the Most High Yahweh with Lord out of some believe respect for the name and others believe to conceal the name. But whatever the reason, it is a fact that in the original manuscripts, it does not say Lord. It says the name of the creator, Yahweh. Now it also states in Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 12, there shall not be found among you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire or one who practices witchcraft or a soothsayer or one who interprets omens or a sorcerer or one who conjures spells or a medium 
or a spiritist or one who calls up the dead. You see, these people are psychics and mediums. They fall into this category. For all who do these things are an abomination unto Yahuwah. And because of these abominations, Yahweh your Elohim drives them out from before you. That is what is taking place, family. Yahweh is exposing to the body of Christ, to you hearing the sound of my voice, that those people who are practicing witchcraft, they are practicing psychic readings, trying to be a medium, they are an abomination to Yahweh and they are being driven out, exposed and rebuked and removed from our presence. And this is very important that you comprehend this because there are many, I know people who are in the body of Christ who asked me in the past, can they go to mediums? This is absolute insanity, family. Just because you are not under the law doesn't mean you willfully break the commandments and go against what Yahweh has told you is wrong. You are under grace, but be wise. Do not deliberately transgress what Yahweh has commanded you not to do, okay? We're even told in Isaiah 8.19, And when they say to you, seek those who are mediums and wizards, who whisper and mutter, should not a people seek their God? Should they seek the dead on behalf of the living? We seek out Yahweh. We don't seek out the dead. We seek out Yahweh. You seek his face. You seek his wisdom. You seek his knowledge. His ways are above your ways and his thoughts are above your thoughts. When you hear those who are speaking as oracles of God, do not disobey the word of the Most High Yah. Listen to the words of the Most High Yahweh when they are revealed to you very clearly and obey them. We are told very clearly in Hebrews 5.12, For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God, and you have come to need milk and not solid food. There are many family, there are many who continually think they are something when they are nothing and deceive themselves. You see, there are many who come to Christ and then they try to play a role that is not their role and they think they are wiser than they are. And by doing so, they cause themselves to be placed in a position where they will be humbled. You have to be humbled if you want to be exalted. Remember what Christ said when you go to a wedding, do not sit at the greatest seat, but sit at the least seat. That way, when the bridegroom arrives, he will invite you to come and sit with him rather than moving you down from where you were to a lower seat in the house. Always be humble, family. Always. I tell you this in love. I love you so much, family. And sometimes I know that the way that I preach the gospel and the way that I communicate with my brothers and sisters in Christ can be perceived as harsh. But I'm doing it because I love you, because I want you to hear the words of Yahweh and obey them. You see, you are saved by grace through faith. This is a fact. But please grow, walk. Do not be stagnant. Do not be disobedient just because you have salvation in Christ. This is not the way to live. You are to do the good works that Yahweh has ordained you to walk in because he has ordained you to walk in them, because he is good, because you are now his. Do not be a hearer of the word and not a doer. Do, because he loves you that much that he has given you grace upon grace and his grace is sufficient for us. And one more thing, family, I want you to understand that all things work out for the good of those who love God. So have peace. Understand no matter how much spiritual warfare is coming your way, this is an opportunity for you to grow. Focus on Yahweh knowing that all things work out for the good of those who love God. And take a look at what it says in Matthew 28, 19 to 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of of the age. Amen. Love Yahweh with all of your heart, mind, soul and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. Okay family, I love you so much. I pray you have a beautiful day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you do smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, feel free to check out my new song, Walk With Yah. I'm trying to use my gifts to glorify Yahweh at all times. I used to make music before I was saved. And now that I'm saved, I want to make music that glorifies Yah. So if you would like to support my new song, it is called Walk With Yah. And if you want to support the content a little further, consider becoming a Patreon at Patreon patreon.com forward slash saint avs or a channel member by clicking that join button other than that i pray the most high yah shines his face upon you always and gives you peace and i'll see you on the next one shalom shalom oh yeah and clearly yahweh did not lie